Good afternoon, people. Here is a important uh, video that I wanted to make based off of all these people that went through the program or thinking about going through the program, their experiences with this guy, Lucas Lee Tyson, with his Growth Cave product that he promises that you can make YouTube videos and, and launch your idea digital product and make millions of dollars a year and you know recoup his ten thousand dollar guarantee plus the price of the program which was at the time six grand when i got suckered into this but i got the money back that's that's very important i'm going to get into that but now i hear it's up to ninety nine over nine grand i don't know ninety three hundred bucks unbelievable how how just in a short amount of time he jacked the price up uh, and you people come to him uh, with a little idea that I can make a digital product based on a passion, and it they're all they're all the fucking dumbest passions in the world, and you're not going to make shit from it. I'm telling you. So you know it's fine, but you know even if you're gullible, you come to this guy. He will. He basically. Uh, I put it in a way like this. He he stocked a pond full of fresh trout that are hungry. You know when you you go into those fishing contests and everybody and they're they're. Their kids and the parents, they go and they cast the pole in there. And, oh, yeah, they, they, they get the limit within a matter of, like, fucking 10 minutes. Like, they, they fish out four trout, and that's the limit. And it's like, oh, okay. They bite right away. It's not it's not anything uh, that, you know, requires, like, this expert skill to fish these fish out of the pond. They're hungry, and this guy's dangling the bait, and you guys take the bait and bite. And he reels you in, and he cooks you up. And the reality is, my and these are my opinions of the whole thing. And we're going to get into this. I just want to let you know, you guys watched that one video I did where I went through the whole, my whole experience and I give my opinion on my feedback over what I think of this guy and his program and it's, and it isn't anything positive. Okay. So you be the judge, you're, you're, you're big boys and girls. You can make decisions for yourself. I want to be very clear here. This guy is not putting a gun to your head. Uh, he is not forcing you to do anything. Ultimately, that decision is up to you, and with that comes common sense and reasoning and deciding to take a plunge without doing your proper research. Now, I pride my videos as being some of the only ones out there with this guy, uh, and I wanted to do it on purpose. My, they're the only ones out there that gives a true experience and feedback that you guys can actually research and look up because there's nothing out there worth anything. A lot of these other reviews on the internet have they've gone through uh, what they think of the program. They actually haven't gone through it, and they're very vague, and they're not going to be brutally honest as I'm going to do it. But the reason for this video is again food for thought. You guys do what you want. If you want to give this guy your money, go right ahead. Maybe you'll have awesome results. I have found that they're far few in between. They're very hard to find, even in the Facebook group. You watch my video. Uh, I had four of them out there, different topics, but the one was really a breakdown of the overview of it. So I am going to, the reason for this video is, it's not to add anything new here. This is, this is long gone, and I put this to rest. This guy made it right. I forced him to make it right with me. I got my refund, and there was no harm, no foul. Now, I had a successful product that I already had. I came to this guy, I'm thinking, all right, how do I take it to the next level? I wasn't going to create anything from scratch. You know, I'm like, all right, I had the money. I'd be like, all right, let me try this. Let me try this out. And, you know, there again, there is some good things that he, he gave me with it, and I still have them to this day. But ultimately, the value here, I saw what was going on inside the Facebook group. I saw kind of the bullshit that he was peddling. I saw how his salespeople would just basically try to tell you anything just to get swipe your credit card. And there's a lot of red flags. So, you know, I decided to make it right. And you guys have to do that on your own way. Okay. But the reason for this video is I keep getting emails from all you guys and girls about the problems about, Hey, I'm glad you said something. I've experienced this too. This guy's a scumbag and this, that he's, oh, he, he, I, I'm trying to get my money back. And they're asking me and asking me what to do. And here's my advice to you. Stop asking me for what, for help, what to do. I'm not anybody's savior here. I'm exposing this. You have to think for yourself and, and either chalk it up. Number one, if you got hosed by this guy, if you feel like you got hosed, Whatever the case is, you've got to do what you need to do to make it right, okay? Don't look for me for the answer because a lot of you, I'm emailing you back. You know, I'll, I'll entertain this shit to a degree. 
But when I give you my hard truth reality of what you need to do, none of you have the balls to do it and you just back up. So my best advice is you got one of you got a couple options. The first option is chalk it up as a loss. Okay. Think better next time. Make a better decision. Okay. The second thing is take the guy to small claims court. You could have that or whatever you think you need to do. I'm not saying do it, but that's the other option. Okay. You have to come at him and be willing to go all the way. And a lot of you aren't because, oh my God, you should see these emails I'm getting. People have anxiety issues in here and it's like, oh, this and that. What do you want? What are you coming to me for? What am I going to do? You have to do it. I'm not going to do it for you. I just view you as weak. Okay. Flat out. There's a couple things. Now I want to go over some of these emails to let you guys know of, of some of the shit that, that you guys have been writing me. And, and it basically backs up everything I've been saying about this guy. Now, I, I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, this is just 13. There's more that I filed in other, other or categories. But I don't have time to get into every single email. And there's a lot of them. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a couple of them. And you guys judge for yourself about this guy. These are emails from the public that either are thinking about trying this program or tried it, and they're bitching and complaining about it. So it proves my point here. I don't have a biased reason to come at this guy at his throat and complain and really shit on this guy because it's, it's, it's completely backed up through these emails. So here's the first one. I remember back, I've been just compiling all of these and saving them. Here is this first one, uh, this uh, Jeremy. Here, thanks for the post. Posting that honest review of the Growth Cave, I was literally about to sign up, and you just saved me from making dumb, a dumb decision. I, I'm still curious about the content of, of the course and was wondering if you happen to still have anything from the course that you'd be willing to share so I can take a look, okay? And then he, there's a drum video in there. Okay, so that's one, you know? I'm not going to even get into my responses. I remember this one. Um, Elizabeth, hey, I saw your video on YouTube reviewing Growth Cave. I was just on a call yesterday with this salesperson, Weston, considering the program, but was hesitant due to the financial commitment and the overall questionable success of it. Yeah, you're right to think that. I did a different program last year for his Facebook ads. Worst possible time right before the update, blah, blah, blah. I had one one week of great profit. Then later after the update, I lost a bit trying to adapt, blah, 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 blah. I wanted to pivot to YouTube, but was too burnt. Now eight months pregnant in free time and for now and creative energy to do something entrepreneurial efforts and see this is the problem this is the problem these people you got you guys after that i know there's pregnant women at home there's people that don't have any you got the greatest idea maybe you have this painting kit that you want to share out to the world or you're just the skill of like how to rid yourself of joint pain or any one of these or you're, maybe you're an expert wedding photography and you have this dumb little niche that's the problem none of it's going to do shit it's more important to you than it is to the real world. And it's if you can sell it and package it and get it out there and people are interested in it or not. And there's just a few categories that you're going to basically sell on a massive scale if you even have the likability and you can do these ads and you actually have the product. Most of this shit is a pipe dream and this Lucas is cashing in on everybody's pipe dream, but over 90%, and I'm guessing about this, it's my opinion, over 90% of you, you're not going to do shit with your idea because it's centered around your personal attachment to maybe you like it maybe you have a hobby that you're going to turn into something that you think is going to sell the reality it's not get it through your head if you want to start a business buy a business okay don't start one and don't come to this guy thinking you can you can you can have your like stupid topic like oh how, how to how to talk and communicate better with your children or watercoloring paints for five-year-olds here's my program and show you show you parents out there how to do it beyond stupid no one cares about it nobody's gonna buy it so that's my brutal honest truth so let's get going to some more let's see so sherry here what does sherry say aloha peter report them to the better business bureau blah 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 they must own trust pilot like i think you yeah again if you read shit off of trust pilot don't go by that do not go by that because i'll tell you why the 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 trust pilot is rigged and i've had experience with that with other businesses and just putting reviews on there they 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 only want it's like a it's like a paid service where you can put reviews on there 
They only want positive reviews on there for the most part. And they'll kick you right off if you can't back any of it up. You have to send in proof if you send in a negative review that you actually did business with the person and upload receipts. It's such a bullshit platform. Don't ever believe anything off of Trustpilot, that review site. Word of advice there. Let's see. So let's see this shit here. Uh, what is this? Um, he says, anyway, I came across your YouTube and saw your latest video that how you were able to get a full refund. I'm in a very crappy situation with them right now, and I want to try to get a refund. It's a long story, but I wanted to ask you if you'd be willing to help me. And if not, I I understand. However, you're willing to help me, please let me know. I'll share this with the details. No pressure. See, it's just a random person. He can't do it for themselves. I'm saying here's another problem with it. He's he 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 has an issue. Okay, let's see e-learning program here we go hey peter thanks for the review about growth cave you saved me six grand on his videos and he said it would cost me one to two k nothing more i clicked on the youtube and it was very interesting it got me and that's what happens it, i watched all of his video that's their design to hook you in i watched all of his videos and booked a time the next day to do a zoom meeting i'm a restaurateur and i know how to build a successful restaurant so i thought i could put my talent into an online course again there it is Again, it's just stupid idea. Like, how many people are going to buy that? Okay? Duh. It's not going to sell. After booking, I was like, I should check out the reviews. Yeah, smart. That Yeah, because I had been scammed before buying programs. I came across your videos. Obviously, I didn't do the Zoom meeting. But now I'm just sitting here with an idea, and I don't know where to start. I would tell you right there, shoot it. Take it out back and shoot it. Forget about it. Do something more worthwhile and uh, something that's actually going to produce results. Okay? Jamal. So there, there's another example. Let's see. Where am I at here? Jamal. Here. Look at this guy. Uh, hammer. Hammer. Hey, I'm trying to get a refund from this dipshit Lucas, but the little pussy <laughs> wants to act smart and ignore me yeah this is what he does he did it to me until i pressured him do you know how i can add him on slack i've never used slack before you know and i went back and forth with this guy but uh, uh you know here I, i've been sending him emails for three damn weeks but he thinks he can just ignore people because he's effing president uh i went in back but you get the idea here people having problems you got to you got to grow a pair and you got to go after them. I know how I did it, but not everybody's has that, you know, go for the jugular instinct when you get screwed over, especially business. You have to have a little business experience to understand that. So, so here's, here's, here's Brittany says, Hey Peter, I've seen your reviews about this program. I appreciate your brutally, brutal honesty you have to offer right now. They have a black Friday sale going on where you can get the program for 3,800 bucks and that ends tonight. So I need to make a decision. That's classic. That's classic sales, man. I hope Brittany, you weren't stupid to do that, but yeah, that, that see it is. They want you to make split sec, split second, quick decisions that'll be knee jerked. And then they got you. And then you have to deal with the consequences if it doesn't work out. It's just classic sales right there. Schmuck sales right there. My core, oh, here it is. My course I would offer is how to make a side income doing print on demand with Etsy. Stupid. Who's going to buy that? You can, you, there are YouTube videos and free shit out there that'll teach you anybody how to do that. Basically, you make graphics from a third party that fills your orders for you. So it's easy way to sell products on Etsy. I have experience on the camera and social media. I've combined over 300K followers. All right, that's pretty good. And I know how to speak and be intriguing. Okay, well, I mean, there's a situation you have 300 followers. So something like this, a product might be, might fit there. Okay, this is one where I would say, hmm, maybe this might be interesting. If you do this product alone and just try to market it and sell it without the 300K followers on all your platforms, then I, say, I would say don't do it. But if you got the followers, this one might work. Okay, so there's an exception. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, oh yeah. She, I'm a stay at mom, home mom with two children, so I don't have the money. There it is. I don't have the money to throw away on something like this and it can't, and can't offer me anything in return and have to be smart about my spending as my kids come first. So my, I told her my shitty opinion is, um, make a better choice. This is a stupid thing to do. I, I forgot about this one, I, I, but the, but the, but if you have a if you have a 
platform and you have the money to take the risk, do it. But man, if you don't have any money and you got two kids and you're stay at home mom, yeah, this isn't the direction you people need to be headed. You need to you have more stable sources of income. You need to find a job. You need to have you need to take care of your fucking kids. All right. Don't come to me. This is just you see the logic going on here? This is the last thing, Brittany, you should be uh, going towards, especially somebody like Lucas. So there's another one. So where are we at here? I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Hey, yo, Peter, I came across your YouTube, YouTube video on YouTube. I fell into a similar situation as yours as his ass clown <laughs> won't refund me. And I've been threatening him for the past week. And you were right. This piss face doesn't have an attorney. Yeah, no shit. No shit. He doesn't. Maybe he does now. If he's smart, he does now. He's probably going to need one now. Long story, I told the little bitch, if he doesn't refund me, I'll send him a formal demand letter. Yep, you got to do that. I pretty much went through the same shit you went through, except he's running me around. Same shit. Yep, that's what he does, because they don't want to refund you this. This is what this idiot has to say to me. Hey, the contract you signed clearly states any disputes will be handled via arbitration in the state of Massachusetts. Oh, because he knows, he knows nobody's going to come to Massachusetts to take him to small claims court. So nowadays, you know, arbitration can be done on Zoom. But feel free to let us know that's the path you'd like to go down. I would advise reading the entire contract you signed before me. Okay, so that contract is bullshit. It's just a threat. They all stick it in there you can ha- you can make that thing go away if you have the if you want to pursue it if you have the right legal team if you're able to understand the law and contracts and if there's holes you can poke like I that I just basically take that contract and I wipe my butt with it because you can make that go away it doesn't mean anything it's just a scare tactic that they all do they put in there to basically muscle you out if you have any problems with a product or service that they basically are trying to intimidate you that yeah, I, I'm an expert I got all my legal team and in the state of Massachusetts you don't want to do that because you know you signed this contract it's all bullshit okay it's just a muscle tactic it's just kind of trying to throw your weight around it's a threat that's all it is it's nothing to it so this guy's like dude I'm over this BS what would you tell him? I would show him your video, but I'm not looking to cause problems, and I just want my damn money back. Oh, yeah, you want the shortcut, asshole. You want the shortcut. Well, that isn't going to work, okay? You got you to gotta come at him, guns blazing, and you got to be willing to put in the work because you made a dumb decision. There's no easy fix to that if you get somebody ignoring you and the, you, know, you feel like you were wrong. So whatever. Oh, let's see. What, his, what does his screenshot look like? There it is. Hey, yeah, this is, this is a... Something I guess he sent him. Hey, B- Lucas, blank, blank, the contract. Oh, this is uh, Lucas responding to this dude. Hey, uh, it's Mark. The contract you signed pretty well states any disputes will be handled via arbitration in the state of Massachusetts. Feel free to let us know if that's the path you'd like to go down. I would advise you reading the kind. Con- see, see, see his reaction? He doesn't care. He doesn't care if you're unhappy with it. It's bullshit. So that's, that's another example. So Mark, where are we at? Here's another one. Very, in, I don't know who that, I can't even pronounce this guy's name. I don't know what the hell that is. His, Hizuka Yahang? I don't know. Very insightful. I left a comment on your, vi, on your first video as well. After two no-shows by unprofessional coaches. Yeah. It, and him being unapologetic as, and also talking down to me because of my geolocation. I think that is very uncool. I've been patient though. But out of my own dignity, I would like to be, I would like to be one of probably a few people who wants to really make it out there and at some digital marketer or funnel hacking event when he sees me successful. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm going to painfully remind him of our exchange and how this is not the way to, he doesn't care. Okay. They don't care about you. Okay. That's irrelevant. I'm still very intrigued by the YouTube ads approach. Yes, it's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It works. But you don't have to pay $9,000 or whatever f- for this little pipsqueak Gen Zer that lives in an apartment and has no life experience to give you the goods on it. If there's a better program I should look at, I'm looking forward to your recommendation. I don't have anybody. You know, it, It's just you're preaching in the choir, brother. You're quenching the prior, so I don't know what happened to this guy. So let's see. Moving along here. You have entirely too much time. <laughs> let's see this one. You, you, this is to me. You have entirely too much time on your hands, which I am tickled pink. Okay, FYI. I have not yet bought his course, but I'm considering it. Okay, okay, Harry. 
recently went through a similar thing with a group called JK and its owner Dan Klein. Don't get me started. Never heard of it. Who caves a shit about them? I think your rant was balanced. Your point that 90% of Lucas takers won't pull it off so it's consistent with what I have seen. Exactly. And that's my whole point here. I got my own style. I curse. I'm, I'm brutal. I'm honest. I, I got my own problems with shit. But, you know, I, I'm putting it out there. You get the theme of this. I've been in some good courses, some shitty ones, but to be honest, the course owners that I have told me repeatedly that only about 8% of them actually do the course. Okay, you have to actually do it, but the success rate, of course, fewer than that succeed. Oh, so fewer than 8% from this guy's research succeed. Yeah, that, I would agree with that, and it's 100% true. And I'll bet I have seen and bought more of this, of this bullshit stuff than you have. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so there. Oh, so there. But I have reached the same point as you. This is bullshit. Motherfucker, give me my money back. Okay. So this guy's like bitching at me, but he's agreeing with me at the same time. Whatever, man. Whatever gets you there. And they all resist and I always get my money back. Okay. Good for you. You have to know how to do it in the right way. And some of that way is you have to, you know, do unethical shit to get your money back. All that being said, I do think that there may be some value in what he has. Yes. I never said there wasn't some value in it. And I do have what is probably a pretty good existing business and concept, including existing flow of lukewarm leads. Okay, this guy's a little business sense. Coming to a large market who does not need to rank in Google. That's good. I'd love to hear your opinion on well, you, what, on how well you think Lucas's method might work or not with what I'm doing. Buy you a Zoom call and a beer. I never got. I I don't have time to take a Zoom call about this shit. It's just I'm I'm reading. All, here's the feedback. This is you know food for thought. You guys take from that email what you want. Okay, so let's see. Almost done here. Couple other one. Couple other gems here. Here's one. Eddie, I saw your videos about Growth Cave and Lucas himself. I wanted to say that your reviews for the Growth Cave program were funny and informative. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm a dancing monkey. I'm here to entertain. However, I have to ask something. I wished I watched your videos before I made the mistake of signing for Growth Cave. I'm seriously not feeling well with the notion of how much money was spent into the program, only to realize it was crap and something I don't want to continue with. Well, that's the problem, Eddie. You kind of make the decision. Sometimes you have to live with those decisions, good or bad, okay? I've asked him for a refund. What's your reason for the refund? You just, you're just unhappy or is there some kind of fraud or you feel like you were wronged in some way? But I emailed him. He emailed me back saying that the enrollment is non-refundable and I am just furious. But also my anxiety kicks in and knowing I can't get my money back, is there a way to like still get my money back without going through the process of like getting a lawyer or going to court? Oh yeah, you just want, you know, you just want it naturally fall on your plate you without doing shit you don't want to confront it you swipe the credit card and you took the risk but now you're not willing to pick up the mess because you have anxiety and you want the easy way out eddie i don't know you need to toughen up this shit isn't for you business doesn't seem for you i would go get a job do something that'll keep your anxiety in check but you guys see the theme of that email okay moving on eddie okay two more here and then then we're gonna end it jason judd okay let's see what i oh yeah i remember him Growth Cave, first off, sounds like a stretched out, overpenetrated asshole. <laughs> Thanks for your videos on YouTube about Lucas. Just know, just know you are doing good with them. Every person you can keep from getting scammed is earning you some good karma. Whatever. I don't believe in any of that shit. It is what it is. If you if you that, that's your thing, who knows? Yeah, and he even said it right there. <laughs> that's what I'm like thinking. It's not my thing, but your videos have at least kept me from wasting any time, any more time on these ass wipes. My ideas, I ha- oh here we go. Here's his idea. My ideas I had for courses after I got sucked into this ad word. Dun, 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 dun. How to get your diabetes better controlled. As I've been dealing with having to make major dietary changes that last a couple of years, which can be enabled me to lose 110 pounds over a year and a half. Okay, go. Why would they come to some no name like you, that does that's not a doctor, and I? It's stupid idea. Never gonna sell a fucking single one of these courses. Okay, you're never gonna get a sign up. Second one was, oh, this, uh, let's see what this one was. How to prepare for economic and social collapse. Oh, my God. St- 
stupid. You see what I'm talking about, guys? You see what I'm talking about? You guys think your ideas are so epic and they're going to sell, but they're all turds. This is a turds. What makes you, Jason, what makes you so an expert on social collapse and how to deal with it? Economic collapse? Give me a break. Who would buy that? As a survival and prepping are some things that I think are pretty knowledgeable. And oh, Okay, yeah, I'm sure you are, yeah. The only thing I was thinking uh, was who the fuck would actually pay for the courses on this stuff when everything is available for free. There you go, Jason. So don't even go further with it. You just answered your own question. It's a stupid idea. It means more than you. It means more to you than it will to anybody else, much less you're not going to make a dollar off of it. I can't believe these guys actually had me kind of believing all their bullshit. Yeah, that's what they do. That's the product. That's the mantra. That's what they want. It's an eliciting a response to a pain you're, and a big bright idea that you think you're going to take off the cliff with something. Anyways, thanks again, bud, and keep up the good fight. I'm not keeping up a good fight. Uh, don't let these pussy-ass liberal, <laughs> liberals and blindly following media millennials get to you. They're not getting to me. I'm making money from this video and all the videos I put on her uh, about him, okay? That's the sole reason for it. I don't care about moving the world forward. I wanted to make my review because there was no other reviews out there about this guy, and I, and I said what I said. I don't have an agenda here. But Jason, yeah, good for you. You, you found out that you have really a dumb idea and you, you opted uh, not to do it. So let's see. So one more. This was the funniest one. That recently, that prompted me to make this video. Now, I'm going to end it. It's almost a half hour here. But I'll finish it out with this one. Reese. Oh, my God. Reese was kind of a pussy. Like, he, like hello, I, I feel like I'm in the business of being stupid. Yeah, I, you, Reese, after reading your email and exchanging with me, you are stupid. You, this is, this, you're out of your freaking element, okay? I have to admit, I fell for Lucas's business advantagement course. My idea going in was a a computer education course where I would teach gamers how to shop and look for a gaming computer or other ideas helping parents build teach their kids how to build a a computer for their birthday or something like that oh my god like do you know Google exists you know YouTube exists you know there are like hundreds of thousands of articles written about this subject why would they need to buy your program about building a gaming computer. Now, if you people listening to this are not getting the theme here with these stupid ideas and how I'm telling you guys, don't think that they're going to go anywhere and just forget about them. And then you then you, you compound it by going to somebody like Lucas. You deserve every bit of it. You're, you're just stupid people, okay? I <laughs> These emails back it up. You see how dumb these are ideas. Let's see. Real quick, let me skim this. I had this idea that maybe I could make some money off of this. No, you're not going to make shit off of it. Then, like, boom, there was this ad. Make 10K a month. Like, it was awesome. That sounds great. Probably not for free. Yeah, it's not for free, but I don't care. And I think I can actually do something with this here. Oh, however, I was wrong. It was $9,800. My God, he jacked it up to $9,800. That's crazy. I mean, wow. But this thing is, I went through it anyway because, oh, he did it. He went through it anyway because my head was, I can't believe it. I actually, I could actually make this money back. Well, I can tell you right now, after a few nights of thinking and maybe asking a few different people around, none, no one wants it. Yeah, no kidding. You could have saved yourself aggravation by realizing that before you fucking got into this shit. So I go back to Growth Cave and I try to say, I think I want a refund. They said exactly everything you said in the video. So boom, there it is. Backed up. All my claims are backed up. None of it is a legally binding contract. However, that is where I'm emailing you. I need some advice. He's clearly, he clearly is way further into this now and has a lot more money. Yep. Do you think you, you think I can get out of this and get my money back if I advise legal problems? Oh yeah, he doesn't even know. I, I don't think these are bad guys. The counselor that I met was super helpful. You know, they're hired guns. They don't go through the programs themselves, just, you know, FYI. But I've barely gone through the program, and it's just a horrible business idea. Yeah, it is. I should really believe myself when I thought I can't believe it. I want out of this. So, and I, I emailed this guy back, and I'm like, dude, it, it, yeah, I, I just, 
I, I don't feel sorry for you people because you have the dumbest of dumb ideas and you're never going to make money. And then you get, and then you basically, this guy's a snake charmer. So you get close to the cobra and he bites you. And then you want the anti-venom. You want me to give you the anti-venom. And it's just like you want your money back and all this shit. It's just, it's like, you, it, it's like, think better next time. Make better decisions. So that's it. Those are the emails that I wanted to share. And there's more, and I'm not going to get into all the other ones, but I think you got the idea, people, that this video that I made about Lucas Lee Tyson, what he has to offer, my opinion, my experiences with it, and how I just shit on him, they are verifiably backed up by many, many other people. So, hope this video helps. The reason why I made it is I'm sick of you people emailing me about this, and I felt I need to share this after about seven, eight months of me putting this behind me and getting my refund and moving on from Lucas Lee Tyson and his stupid growth cave accelerator program that now he jacked up the price even more and he's still reeling people in. I'm glad you guys are coming to my videos and they're helping in some way. But again, I just want to uh, stress one more time. These are my opinions. These are my opinions of Lucas Lee Tyson. These are just you know, entertaining advice that I would comment on and what I think of you people and I think of his program and I think of the overall uh, product and, you know, just, uh, content creation as far as what he's promoting and what you can actually do with it. If you want to, I'm not saying don't go for this guy's program. I'm not, uh, you know, saying anything that isn't untrue here. I'm have opinions about this guy and I'm entitled to it. And these are just the, uh, the verifiable emails backing up everything that I've said regarding my own, experience with Lucas Lee Tyson. So I hope this video helps. Please stop emailing me. It's getting kind of annoying, but um, uh, I, I feel for you guys out there, but just make better decisions next time. And if you want to get out of this, you're going to have to hold them to the fire and you're going to have to come at them. And if you don't want to do that, if you want to pussy out like most of these emails are, these people are, then just chalk it up as, as a loss, learn from it and move on. But you <laughs> just remember it isn't totally his fault. You, It's your fault for falling for this shit. Okay? See, you're responsible. Just remember that. Talk to you later.